Dow Jones and Nasdaq after recovering a bit yesterday after the drop now has taken another drop today and it in fact we have seen next lows till towards 31730 and 12620 important to note that yes US 100 failed to break below 12550560 levels but yes whether it can or not and which position you should take now with the US session we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon First we look into tech hundred followed with Dow Jones to watch till the end also remember this is the second update for the day those who watched the first update definitely would have profited now let's have a look at the hourly charts see on the hourly charts you can clearly see this is still very much a bullish channel and there in fact there was a breakout so now a sell entry in fact i will only recommend is below 12 5 50 levels where below which you can expect further bearishness those who want to take a sell entry right now can sell at 12600 but then expect 12580 12550 as a major major support below that only it is going to be considered as bearish and it is going to break further now also if you look at the early charts the lower highs are seen here at 12680 12690 levels and hence 12700 12720 zone is a good level for you to enter beyond which see this is the zone which i will expect it to pass by that is 12760 levels and then 12800 beyond that anyways it is bullish but right now if you look at see the candle size has diminished the bearishness is diminishing this is trying to show you reversal the next candle might try to pull it back break past 12700 and then further bullishness may prevail from there A stock elastic is back to oversold the macd is still divergent and bearish the rsi is looking down showing little more bearishness there and if you look at the 2 hour charts and on the 2 hour charts look at this see the candle size diminished here indicating there is diminishing bearishness definitely the next candle i'll wait for it can possibly close the candle at around these levels and then from here it may try to reverse possibility exists for now one more thing to note that if it draws below 12600 remember it is going to be this much big candle which means that it can in fact take it below 12550 and 12500 also that so now the important point is below 12600 you can take a sell entry however be cautious of 12580 550 levels and dropping below 550 further bearishness may prevail now if you look at the stock as ticket this is dropped back to oversold zone the macd is divergent and bearish the rsi is looking down here and if you look at the 3 hr charts on the 3 hr charts likewise see higher low is something we i am looking at rise retracement now see be, before retracing what it has done is it has formed a symmetry here with the higher lows which means that it is still trying to trade bullish it is still trying to remain in this channel and hence a bearish confirmation is only if you see nasdaq 100 trading below 12660 till the time one can possibly expect a rise and then i will expect it to if it breaks past 12750 further bullishness is going to be seen here if you look at the stock elastic this is looking down the macd is divergent and bearish the rsi is trading near to the bottom and if you look at the 4 hr charts on the 4 hr chart trying to show you a reversal but at the same time one must note that so far we had seen in last 3 days lower highs and higher low so this is still very much in consolidation 12800 12600 zone now today it has narrowed and this zone is now something you should watch out for stock is still looking down macd divergent and bearish rsi looking down trying to show you little more bearishness now look at the daily now if you look at the daily charts see connect the dots here higher lows which means 12600 certainly going to be a very very good support and then if it breaks past this zone at 12750 you can expect a rise what it can try to do at least lower highs lower highs means 12880 12850 zone can get achieved you can take your positions accordingly beyond 12760 certainly we can see more bullishness the stock is still has dropped it is still looking down the macd is bearish bullish and trying to converse see the candle size is diminishing here indicating that the bullishness is diminished but let's be watchful where it closes today the rsi is also trying to curve downwards so be careful now only sell entries below 12600 below which also in fact 12580 12560 550 levels these are very 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 good support levels breaking below 12550 it is going to drop strongly and then you can expect 12500 400 i don't think so that it is going to do so but yes if it does certainly it is going to prevail the bearishness on the upside you can buy here at 12 
uh, you can say see 12600 is the support level 12 uh, 680 see 700 rather i will say 12 12680 700 zone you can buy but then expect 72760 levels and only and only if it breaks past 12760 confirm it for a reversal and you can stay long further take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow jones and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship batch and you can be part of my signals channel as well where you can trade profitably reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now look at us 30 on the hourly charts and see the formation there see consolidation then sharp candle then consolidation there is a retracement then again a sharp red candle then retracement then consolidation and again a sharp drop so what next which means that it can try to come back till towards 32,000 levels and a bullish confirmation is only if it breaks past 32 to 50, 300 zone if it does so certainly it is going to be considered for a reversal now if you look at the moves there the moves are uh, smaller than what we had seen also if you look at see lower highs lower lows and on the downside now you have to be watchful till towards 30 to 600 levels possibly if it breaks below 30 to 600 you can say it it is going to trade bearish now look at the candle size here see body size was more here it is uh, one smaller candle and this the previous candle is tried to show you increasing bearishness uh, now see lower highs were seen and hence if you see it trading beyond 30 to 850 you can buy there expect then beyond that we may see at least 30 uh, sorry 31 850 at beyond that you can see 32,000 levels and in fact 32,000 150 200 levels can also be expected a stock ISTIC is oversold on the early charts the MACD is still divergent and bearish the RSI is almost trading at the bottom and if you look at the 2 hour chart on the 2 hour charts the candle size has diminished and now it is trying to which means beyond 32 800 850 zone and in fact 32 900 if these two are taken 31 900 in fact if these are taken it is going to show you a good reversal for 32,000 32,100 100 is also a good resistance and then 32 200 if these levels are taken it is going to be considered for a reversal a stock I stick back to oversold the MACD divergent and bearish the RSI at bottom and if you look at the 3 hour chart see on the 3 hour charts lower lows are done there is a slight resistance it is getting at this pivot point at around 32, 31, 830 levels and if it breaks past certainly 31, 900, 32,000 and 32,100 see I will wait for it to break past 32, 200 in order to confirm slight bullishness and then beyond that also see lower highs are consistently seen since last 2 days 600, 500 so for the day if you can connect this 400 levels is something which is the next highs here the stock i stick looking down the macd divergent and bearish the rsi at bottom here and if you look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts certainly we can see similar observation but remember this is the one candle and if you look at the movements there see one sharp candle retracement then a sharp red candle then a retracement then a sharp candle trying to trade in this channel here and see the sharp candle bottom is something which is the lows for the day and highs here so on the upside see remember 3300 400 is something which is going to play an extreme risk reversal levels but whether it is possible for it to achieve that or not let's have a look see the stock i stick is looking down the macd is still divergent is still bearish it is still looking down the rsi trading flat and if you look at the daily charts now see look at the previous day before yesterday's candle you can find out see the body size here 32 550 to 32 100 450 points now it has started somewhere here as 32 150 levels so 450 points from 32 150 levels is almost 32 700 yes it has gone close to it which is also you can see double bottom levels which is giving it a very very good support hence it can try to stretch and once it stretches beyond 32 100 it can try to see it has done lower lows you can see this it can also achieve lower highs which means 30 to 400 levels and it can stay in the zone and then again drop from there a stock i stick looking down the macd is still in green trying to look downwards rsi is also looking down considering this buy at 32 830 expect 32 900 33 uh, 31 900 33 32 thousand levels as the next resistance and beyond 32 till 30 to 400 every 100 points there is a resistance and only and only if it trades above 30 to 400 we can expect it to trade bullish we can expect that as, as a reversal on the downside yes you can sell here at the you can sell here at 30 
वन सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी लेवल्स बट देन थर्टी वन सेवन हंड्रेड इज समथिंग फर्स्ट सपोर्ट देन थर्टी वन सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड टिल थर्टी वन फाइव हंड्रेड डू नॉट कंसिडर दिस बियरिश वी आर सीन ट्राई इट रिवर्सिंग फ्रॉम दीज लेवल्स ट्राइस एंड यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट इट मे ट्राई टू गेट द सपोर्ट देयर टेक योर ट्रेड्स अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद टेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच एंड सिग्नल चैनल रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ईमेल आई डी मेंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डेट